Azimiela Umoja won Kenya coalition leader Raila Odinga's declaration to run for the African Union Commission chairperson seat set for pe February next year could likely keep him off active politics, radically changing the country's political landscape. Its latest development, brokered by former Nigerian President Olushagun Obasanjo, gives President William Ruto a breather in executing his bottom-up economic agenda without the praying eyes of the opposition led by Odinga. NTV's Vincent Oduo reports. This is the first time Azimi Olaumoja, one Kenya coalition leader, Roy Laudinga, is publicly declaring his interest for the top job at the African Union Commission. I'm ready, yes, to go for the chairmanship of the African Union. A move endorsed by former Nigerian President Onusegun Obasanjo, who is currently in the country. I have no doubt in my mind that my friend who easily be a viable candidate. Welcome, welcome to Kenya. And after meeting with Odinga, Obasanjo traveled to Muranga County, where he met President William Ruto. The president is said to have given his endorsement to Obasanjo as a message to Odinga. The AU chairman's seat will fall vacant in February next year, when the current chair, Musa Faki, finishes his second and last term. I have served the AU in the capacity of uh, infrastructure, a high representative. That position gave me a good uh, advantage to be able to learn about each and every African continent, African country, what they have, the comparative advantages, and so on. Odinga's decision is likely to slow down his local political activities since taking up the job would require him to have a good working relationship with leaders in the continent, including President William Ruto. Odinga will now be forced to tone down his criticism against President Ruto's Kenya Kwanzaa administration now that he is banking on President Ruto's support for his AU chairman bid. If Odinga wins the seat, he will be based at AU headquarters in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, a move that is likely to disengage him from his ODM party activities in Kenya. Those who have been calling on Odinga to quit politics, including President Ruto and his deputy Rigathi Gashagwa, seem to have found a soft landing for Odinga away from the heated local politics. Prime Cabinet Secretary and CS for Foreign Affairs Musalia Mudavadi, who was attending the AU's Executive Council of Foreign Ministers in Addis Ababa, says East Africa region is ripe for the chairmanship of the AU next year. If we go by the rules that were approved, it's an opportunity for East Africa to provide uh, leadership. Now Odinga and Kenya will have to engage in shuttle diplomacy to win over support from other African countries. Vincent Odur, NTV.